What's going on guys, Eds, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Of course, literally just filming this at halftime of the England game. What a shambles that is. But yeah, of course, the focus is on Rovers and we, of course, made our seventh signing in seven days and it is Taylor Moore. Of course, he was the player that has probably been most linked with the club and he becomes our seventh signing. Signs on a three-year deal with an option of an extra year. 27 years old, very versatile player, mainly plays in centre-back but can also play at right-back and in defensive midfield. And yeah, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about him, a bit more about his career, his most recent club and also give you my thoughts on the signing. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, keep on notifications and also keep up the quality support as always. But yeah, he signs on a free transfer. His most recent club was in France. I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of it because my pronunciation isn't the best. But he signed for the club in France. He went back to France, of course. He started his career off in France. But last club, he actually signed a three-year contract at the start of last season. But for whatever reason, they decided to cancel his contract. He was in the second tier in France, made 21 appearances last season, but his most recent appearance for them was in the 7th of February, so for whatever reason, didn't really work out there as we know, he was at Bristol City, was there for a total of 7 years, but mostly played out uh, on loan, made 60 appearances during his time at Bristol City uh, we know he started his career off at Lons, and to be fair, when he was uh, a youngster, he was a very highly rated player, you know, um when he was at Lons, they rejected a really high bid from Lyon, around €9 million. Euros. And then, of course, he signed for City for around £1.75 million back in 2016. He's also made appearances for England under-19s, where he made eight appearances. And he also made appearances for the under-17s of England, where he made six. But then, yeah, loads of loan spells at Bury in League One, Cheltenham in League Two, Southend in League One, Blackpool in League One. Hearts in the Scottish Premiership, uh, and his most recent EFL appearance was in the 22-23 season, where he made 48 appearances for Shrewsbury, in a very good season for them under Steve Cottrell, where they finished 12th, and of course our last game of that season, uh, last away game, we went there and, and lost 2-0, and he actually played in CDM and played pretty well whenever he's played against us, and yeah, 304 appearances in total. Of course, he becomes our oldest player that we signed at the age of 27. And to be fair, I, I think on paper it looks a decent signing. Plenty of EFL experience. Um, like I said, that he, he has got quality because he wouldn't have you know, played for England and went to City for quite a bit of money and was linked with a lot of um, higher league clubs when he was in France when he you know first started his career. And yeah, like I said, he can play a number of positions. I think he'll, he'll be a solid player. I think on a free transfer, uh, you know, the versatility I think is really good as well. He's got plenty of power. You know, he said he, he'd he give 110%. He knows how, obviously, passionate the Rovers fans are because whenever we've played against him, obviously, that song that we sing to every um, City player. But, yeah, you know, it is another ex-City player. You know, most of them have done pretty well that we've had. So, hopefully, again, he can do really well um, and hopefully we can have a decent season. Looking forward to seeing him play. Of course, blue and white quarters. And yeah, that'll be the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Up the gas.